Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today we are getting into one very specific blush. This is the Rouge Blush from Dior and I have the shade 459 Charnel. This gorgeous looking blush here. This is a very interesting shade, not a shade I would normally pick up. It's kind of a peach brown. It looked very brown on the website, but in person in this lighting, it's kind of a terracotta earthy brown. So I don't know how this is going to look on my skin tone. I'm going to hope for the best. I've never had a rouge blush before from Dior, so I'm very excited to try this formula. The rouge blushes are $44. There is 6.7 grams of product, 0.23 ounces. Comes in a box like this, and it has a little protective cloth pouch. And it comes with a little brush that I will never use. Very, very narrow to apply a blush, but they always include it. This shade has a, the slightest amount of sheen when you look close up. I wouldn't say it's like a flat matte or anything like that. Very interesting. There are some limited edition shades out there, some like holographic or hologram they call it. That one looks pretty. It's pink with a lot of sheen. Um, some of these holographic candy pink, that's New World. Um, yeah, I don't know why I've never tried a Dior blush before, but let's get into it. I have the Refer number no. 5 brush. This is a pretty large powder brush. We're going to try it out today. See what this looks like. So I'm using a clean brush. So you guys can see what this does. So the reason I picked up this shade is Michelle Wong really loves it. Um, while we don't have the same skin tone, she is pretty, pretty much on the lighter side. So I thought, well, maybe this will work. And it's definitely peachy. I'm probably going to put like way more than I normally would in real life so you guys can really get a sense. I have a lot on this side. That is pretty. It's like pinky brownie peach. That's a really nice finish. It doesn't have... I like that it's not flat matte, but it's not really shimmery either. I think that definitely helped out my complexion a bit. Let's just do a swatch for funsies. I know blush swatches can be kind of challenging to see. There's a double swatch. And yeah, kind of a peachy brown. Interesting. Very interesting color. It looked a lot more brown online, so you never know what you're gonna get in person. Yeah, I think you can see the sheen on my fingertips the most. Watch an interesting color. What do you guys think of Charnel? Do you have any Dior blushes? What are your favorites? I'm just gonna blend in that excess. Please comment below your favorite shade of Dior blush. Have you tried? blushes from this brand. What are you loving? Please let me know. I'm going to put some way up here since I don't have any bronzer. And I'm going to finish this look. I know I didn't do the whole tutorial of this look. I just wanted to focus on this one blush, but I do want to put on a highlight to complete the look. And I'm going to use the Wayne Goss in Shocking. This one right here. It's the blush palette. A little bit of white gold highlight to go with my peach, very peach blush. You know, it's peach, but it's not like over the top peach, which I'm really enjoying. I think this was a good pick for me. Do I really need a new blush though? Probably not. <laughs> um, I picked it up with my Selfridges order. I don't know why, uh, to be honest. I think, yeah, Michelle Wong put it in her top three categories, favorite blush. 
so I had to pick it up and I am enjoying it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.